Hello and welcome back to Livestock TV. Thank you very much for your support for this channel. Let's look at this quick one. We want to look at 10 amazing facts about broiler production. 10 amazing facts about broiler production or broiler chicken production. You want to start poultry farming and you are looking at broiler production, but you don't know whether to go ahead to start with broiler chicken or to start with layer chicken. So in this video, we are going to look at 10 good and strong and amazing facts about broiler production. So don't go anywhere, stay with me and let's discuss this. Thank you very much and welcome back. If this is your first time for visiting the channel, I plead with you to hit the subscription button and also the notification button. Please share our videos, pass comments on them, and also like our videos. Now, let's look at the viewer's teaser or the viewer's question. Between the broiler production and the layer production, which one is easier to keep? The broiler and the layer production uh, um, chicken which of them is easier to raise so bring your answer down there at the comment section and let's hear from you thank you now let's go straight to the topic for the day 10 amazing facts about broiler production 10 amazing facts about broiler production so the first thing you should know is that if you want to go for broiler production then you are looking at keeping the beds for meat. So broiler beds or broiler chicken is normally raised for its meat. So that is the number one amazing fact. It's mostly kept for its meat. That is the number one amazing fact. Number two, number two, the broiler chicken or the broiler production is a short term investment. It's a short-term investment. What do I mean by this? What it means is that if you decide to keep broilers or raise broilers in your poultry farm, the amount of money you're going to push into that investment is just for a short while, for a short period. It doesn't go beyond um, five months or um, let's say four months. So broiler production is a short-term investment. You invest within some short period and you, you get your money back. That is the number two amazing fact about broiler production. Number three, number three, early profit realization. Early profit realization. What it means is that if you invest in broiler production, if you invest in broiler production, you get your profit as quickly as possible. So this is um, to backtrace the second point that it's a short-term investment. So realizing your profits in broiler production is very, very simple and it comes in, in some few months of production. So that is the third fact about broiler production. Number four, number four, it requires heavy capital concentration it requires heavy capital concentration don't forget we are looking at 10 amazing facts about broiler production 10 amazing facts about broiler production so the point four says that it requires or it, it, it's a heavy capital concentration investment what do i mean by this broiler production is such that the moment you start you push in heavy amount of money within a short period. Let me explain further. The moment you start, the moment you bring your day old chicks, you start feeding them. In fact, from day one all the way to the time you, you sell them, you are going to invest so much in feed. You are going to invest so much in water. You are going to invest so much in their medication. You are going to invest so much in their housing. So, it requires that you have the capital readily available and you should provide them with their needs as and when it falls due. So that is the 
number four point that it's heavy capital concentration okay number five number five you see with broader production with broader production you can start with very small quantity you can start with a very small quantity such as 50 30 100 and you you are still good to go because at the end of the day when you sell them you sell all at a go and you realize your profits and your capital back so it doesn't matter the quantity that you want to start with especially if you are a beginner it's advised that you start on a slow pace so you can start with a small number of beds number six the sixth amazing fact about broiler production is that um, cost of production rises quickly cost of production rises quickly from day one to the end of first week you realize that the moment you enter into the second week you are almost doubling the the cost of product the cost of feed you're almost doubling the cost of giving them water you're almost doubling the cost of um, providing them with the, the space they need because they grow very quickly broiler chickens grow very quickly so it means that their needs also grow in in folds so what it means is that their cost of production rises quickly number seven number seven it's mostly broiler production is mostly for those who really do not have time if you do not have time to sit at one place to take care of the best throughout the day throughout the month throughout the week throughout the year then it is advised that you go for broiler production the moment you give them their their feed in the morning or probably you can even keep the whole feed in there for the whole day you give them enough quantity or enough water enough quantity of water to drink and you you are certain that everything is just okay you can even leave the, the farmhouse so if you do not really have time then it's advised that you go for broiler production so that is the seventh amazing fact about broiler chicken production number eight number eight it is it's best for those who have ready customers it is best for those who have ready customers or those who have clients that are ready to buy as and when the beds are ready if you are such a person who has contact who has the plant readily available to buy your beds the moment they are ready sure you're going to make money because within some short period your beds are ready and you can sell them off so broiler production is best for those who have ready customers then and it is you see the the, the ninth point says that broiler production is more profitable during the festive seasons broiler production is more profitable during the festive seasons so if you produce your beds or if you raise your beds to meet the, for their maturity to meet the festive period then you're going to gain more you're going to earn more on them the reason is that during this period almost everyone almost everyone wants to um, get some chicken to eat and so this raises or it increases demand for chicken and if you happen to be a broiler producer then you're going to cash in on your investment so it is best or you raise you get more profit when you raise your base to meet the festive seasons such as xmas such as um, easter such as um holidays probably independence day such as the new year day and all that depending on where you find yourself so uh, you get more profit when you raise your beds to meet the festive season so the final point in um amazing 10 amazing facts about broiler production is that you know uh, you can restock your poultry farm several times or more than one time in a year let me explain this you see because 
the broiler chicken tastes a little more or a little less than three months so within the eight to ninth week your beds should be ready for the market and such that you really do not have to keep them for a very long time at the end of the third month you can bring in new beds that is after you have sold your 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 current stock and you have disinfected the farm and have allowed it to stay for about a week or, or two you can restock your farm and if this continues it means that within the year you can do it about four times or even five times and this means that you are going to um, get more money within the, the year thank you very much for staying with me and watching the video now let's still go back to the viewers and then ask between the layer chicken and the broiler chicken which of them is easier to keep well let's discuss it at the comment section thank you very much and bye bye